Hey guys and girls, welcome back. Sorry I had to cut that last part short. We're talking to Grace though. I've heard he's met with the CGF commander too. Really? Is he attempting to suppress Heiyu's political influence in Crossbell? And maybe meeting with the CGF commander is related to Ravash's weapon smuggling. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised. Gotta remember that moron of a commander is also one of Speaker Hartman's cronies. Since the commander is in Marconi's pocket. I reckon he's using him to win back the speaker's favor. Bingo! That's what I was thinking. I knew a nice chat with you guys would help me get all my thoughts in order. <laughs> Score! This turned out to be a fruitful little info swap. I hate to admit it, but it's been helpful for us as well. In fact, now that we've sifted through all of the details, I still feel like there's something we're missing. Something we're missing? Care to, care to elaborate? We've been able to arrive at a convincing motive behind each action thus far, but they're all haphazard, like they aren't acting as one singular organization. I felt like Ravash had a particular, particular style to their operations, characteristics of the darkness that lies in the city. But in these cases, I just don't feel it. Yeah, they're a little bit more kind of wild. Right, in a sense. Um, to like their their normal, how they normally would go about things, in my opinion, at least. I'm not a master detective, so I don't know, but that's what I that's what I feel at least. So that's what you mean. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I'm inclined to agree. An efficient system created to take advantage of the mirror reserve known as Crossbell. For an organization such as Ravash to deviate from that system is highly irregular. So in other words, there's an element to this case that threw Ravash out of whack. Something like that? Right, it's just a gut feeling though. Cal's description made it sound like these raiders who attacked Heiyu possessed unnatural amounts of strength. It's possible that could be the reason behind Garcia's strange attitude. Well, I should have expected this from you, Lloyd. You're a sharp kid, aren't you? Hey, if you get canned, how about joining the, me at the Crossbow Times? We can aim for the full the full surprise together. The full it surprise. Uh, I'll have to pass. And for the record, I'd appreciate it if you didn't make me worry more than I have to. Remind me again what's the full it surprise she's up in arms about. That's the international award given to the most prestigious journalists of the year. Excuse me for a second. Yes, Lloyd Banning speaking. I managed to get through. It's me, Bixen, over the mains. Oh, the mayor. What's going on? Is there some sort of problem regarding Gantz? Well, you see, I'm at that Barca Casino. He started acting strangely, so I decided to call you. Strangely? What exactly do you mean? He's been engaged in a poker match with another customer for quite some time. The atmosphere has gotten kind of severe. It might actually get violent. Anyway, could you come over quickly and help sort this out? Understood, sir. Barca Casino, right? We're close by, so we'll be there shortly. I'm counting on you, Maine's mayor. You mentioned something about the casino, Lloyd. Yeah, apparently Gantz might be getting into some sort of violent situation. Seriously? Did he somehow provoke his opponent during a match? With Gantz's ego and crazy luck, I could totally see it happening. Well, we'd better hurry on over and assess the sit. The sit. All right, off to Barca. What? What's the matter? Well, Grace, it's just that it take too long to explain. Let's just head there. I wonder if whatever Gant had taken the rest of of um. Of the Ravash people took as well. Oh, you came. Praise be to Ideals. I think a fight is about to break out. Quickly, take us to where Gantz is playing, sir. Of course. He's in the middle of a private match in the back room. We don't have time to waste. Gantz could blow it at any second. Huh? Wasn't Gantz the one provoking his opponent? 
Oh. It's Lecter. Eat this, punk! 910, Jack, Queen, and King. A straight flush of diamonds, baby. Try to beat this hand, you can't. Yeah, are you kidding me? Wasn't expecting you to pull out a hand that strong on our last round. Ha, huh, this is my true talent. You tied one too many games using those tricky hands of yours, but that's coming to an end. Come on, show us your hand. Might as well give up while you're at it, too. Huh? Are you feeling okay, man? Who said anything about losing? Are you kidding me? The only way you'd be able to beat me is with a royal straight flush. There's no way you could have... And that's where you're wrong, pal. What? A five of a kind? And they're all aces. I can't believe it, what I've seen today. What hands beat a royal straight flush usually depends on the rules, but... Rules or no rules. It's obvious that this blows your straight flush out of the water. Whoa, 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 what? Don't screw with me, you damn cheat. Drake, you're his accomplice, aren't you? Well, screw you, too. I, I assure you, I am nothing of the sort. I swear upon Ideos herself. And during my careful observation of the match, I saw nothing that suggested Mr. Arundel was cheating. Can it? How the hell am I supposed to buy that crap? I've got luck and intuition on my side. I'm supposed to be unstoppable. There's no way I can lose to this jackass. Sir, p please, come to your calm yourself. Seriously, dude, take a chill pill. Poker's just a game of luck, after all. All it means is that your luck has run out, bud. Uh, Mr. Arndo, I refuse to believe this crap. Gambling should be a piece of cake after using that stuff. Can't. Look out. There's no way in hell I could lose. Ah, let me go, let go of me, damn it. You have to calm down, Gantz. What's with this insane strength? Stop this madness, Gantz. Well, if it isn't my favorite pals. How's it hanging? <sniffs> I don't know what I was expecting. How can one man be so suspicious? It's unfathomable. Quite the class clown we got here. An acquaintance of yours, you guys? Sorta. Not like we know squat about him, though. Oh, hold the phone. A five of a kind versus a straight flush. What the hell even happened here? It was a real nail-biter, Randy. I was on the verge of losing. Everything. I can barely keep up with this. At least we were able to neutralize the threat before anyone was hurt. Let me go, damn it! I can't lose, I can't! You did, my friend. After further protests and shouting, Gantz became overwhelmingly exhausted and passed out. Due to his condition, the special support section decided to carry him to his hotel room. <laughs> oh, sweet goddess, how could such a thing happen? He may have not been the hardest worker, but he was a kind man. There's not a soul in Maine who disliked him. Mayor Bixon, I don't know what to say. For a nice guy, he sure was pretty violent for a sec there. Hell, I wasn't expecting that both of us would need to hold him down. Yeah, I couldn't believe how ridiculously, sh ridiculously strong he was. Listen, guys, this is just my impression, but, uh, you think the guy could have been on some kind of drugs? Pardon me? What is the basis of that assessment? You kidding? Judging by their silence, I think Lloyd and Teal seem to agree with me. Agree is a strong word. I don't want to say anything up unsubstantiated, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. We can't rule it out. That's preposterous, Gantz, on drugs. I refuse to believe it. He's just an ordinary miner, you hear me. There's no way he'd be able to get a hold of such dangerous. Sorry, sir, but hasn't it been almost half a month since he arrived in Crossbell? Keep in mind that he earned quite a bit of mirror during his stay, too. Can you say for certain that he couldn't have taken advantage of that wealth? I won't stand for this slander. You mentioned that you're a Crossbell Times journalist. Know that if you write some libel piece based on pure speculation I will lead Maine's and its people to in protest come on take it easy for a sec I don't plan on writing an article on this mister would you do us a favor Mayor Bixon I'd like to go through Gantz's personal belongings if that's alright with you 
You too? I don't intend to imply anything, sir, but there are too many coincidences piling up here. His sudden violence, that inhuman strength, the complete change in personality. All of these aspects are eerily similar to past cases. And in Gantz's case, we also saw an absurd development in his gambling skills. Might be because he took some stimulants to boost his perception or something. That explained that freakish intuition people kept telling us. How it was like he could read people's minds. It's entirely possible. I can only speculate that if I were to gamble, I would likely be more adept than your average person. Tio. Sorry, Tio Todd. You know, I didn't mean it like that. I'm aware. Don't worry. Mayor Bixon, I understand you wish to keep Mr. Gantz's reputation intact. However, please envision the scenario where he is, in fact, consuming drugs. If the situation were to remain unhandled, it could pose a threat to himself and to others. That may be. I could think of a bunch of possible side effects that might crop up. Same here. And that's exactly what we need to be scared of. Very well. I fear I might have been slightly inconsiderate. Go ahead, Lloyd. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this is what I was afraid of. Oh, God. He's taking the freaking Walter White drugs. P pills? God is no. Sir, so three was spot on. Pretty shade of blue. What the heck is it? We can't rule out the possibility that it's harmless medicine yet. Maybe he has some kind of chronic disease we don't know about. Did he ever mention anything about that, sir? From all my interactions with him, no, of course I can't say for sure. Interesting. Would you mind if we hung on to these pills for now? Please do. Listen, though, I beg you, do not spread this around for Gantz's sake. Of course, sir. We'll make sure to take his reputation into consideration. Also, could we leave him with you? Yes, I'll take care of him. I'll try to speak with him once he wakes. Thanks, that'd be great. Now we have suspicious suspicions of an illegal drug circulating throughout Crossville, eh? De definitely didn't see that one coming. Really? I would have thought the Mafia was big into the drug trade. The contrary, actually. Illegal drugs hardly ever shows up in Crossville. Drugs are messy business, you know. One misstep, and they'll spread to neighboring countries like the plague. I've heard the First Division monitors them closely thanks to pressure from Erebonia and Calvert. So I guess Ravash is smart enough to read the room on that one. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, they made sure to cover that back at the police academy. Still, something about these pills. It really is a lovely shade of blue, isn't it? Sure, but they're still suspicious as hell. Something wrong, Teal? No, it's nothing. More importantly, what do you intend on doing with the pills, Lloyd? Good question. I'm thinking this case is too much for us to handle. Alone. For now, let's go talk with the chief. Yes, he may know what to do. While we're at it, we should give our report on the Hayu incident. We got Mafia fighting each other and a chance of illegal drugs now. Get ready, guys. Feeling like things are about to get pretty busy around here. Ain't that the truth. You know, I've only known you guys for four months, but I'm starting to think that you've matured a lot. You think? What's with the sudden praise? Flattery will get you nowhere, I hope you know. No, I'm serious. I got some pretty high expectations. Almost as high as the ones I had for your brother, Lloyd. You know, I don't think I ever got a straight answer last time you brought up Guy. So, did you know my brother? Oh yeah, back when I was still a newbie at the CNS, he helped me out more times than I can count. And in the end, his case went cold. 
At the very least, I'm happy that the team he wished for finally became a reality. What? What do you mean, Grace? Oopsies. Sergey might get angry at me if I say too much. Anyway, I've got an event to cover, so I'm going to have to head out. Oh, and I won't write any articles about the drug stuff, as tempting as it is. Bye-bye. Ah. Uh, so, truth comes to light. Guy was the one that potentially petitioned for the SSS. Why does she get off teasing us like that and just walking away? Another addition to the pile of things we have to think, of, to think about. Are you concerned about what she told us, Lloyd? Oh, well... Even if it's concerning, concerning Guy, I don't really have time to think about it. The Hey You Raid, Ravasha's current situation, and now these blue pills. We have a lot on our plate. For now, let's postpone what Grace told us and ask the Chief about how we should proceed. Understood. You're late. Interrogating Hey you really takes take you that long? No, actually. We may have just stumbled into another case. But we'll include it in the usual report along with details on the Hey you raid. Um, Chief? Sorry, was it too convoluted after all? No, that's not it. It's just a series of events. I'm starting to think that it might all be connected. You do? Seriously? How do you figure that? There's been way too many strange things happening in Crossbell lately. And I know things may t still take a turn for the worse. But I want us to try to connect the dots. Better buckle up, Lloyd. We're going to need those detective skills you've been honing if we want to get anywhere. Sure, leave it to me. Today we were able to discover roughly three pieces of key evidence. The information we heard from Cal about the raid on Heiyu. The intel we exchanged with Grace about the current state of Ravash. And everything we learned about Gantz, the miner from Mainz. So there has to be something that ties the three things together, right? You know, I'm not sure... I'm not there just yet, but I'm starting to see the big picture here. For now, let's sort through what we know. Which element of the info regarding the raid on Heiyu can be tied to the others? The physical ability. Which element of the info regarding Ravage can be tied to the others? Which element of the info regarding Gant can be tied? This has to be it. You think these factors overlap? They're definitely suspicious, that's for sure. I think so. Ellie, if we take a closer look, we can see certain things linking the cases. The enhanced strength displayed by the mafioso who raided Heyu. Gantz and his spontaneous gambling skill. They may seem independent of each other, but they both deal with the augmentation of their hidden potential. Now... Suppose we say that the connecting factor in all of this are these blue pills. The Mafia must have started acting as the distributor for these illegal drugs. And the general public weren't the only ones affected by them. Ravash must have been using them to strengthen its henchmen. Is that the general idea, Lloyd? Yeah, more or less. But in the end, it's still just another theory. However, if that's how it is, wouldn't it explain a lot? Maybe that's why Garcia's influence has started to wane. So a bunch of those mafias took the drugs to toughen up, and as a result, it gave them all big egos. Is that it? Nicely put. By the way, remember the rumors Ian told us about yesterday? Of course, the trader and that stockbroker. You think those 
two are already under the influence of the pills? Who can say? At this point, that's nothing more than pure speculation. However, things are beginning to come together piece by piece. You feel the same way, don't you? Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth, actually. But if I'm being honest, I don't think the special support section will be able to handle a case of this size. We might even need to call in the first division for support, given that the incidents re revolve around the distribution of illegal drugs. <laughs> Perfect timing, Lloyd. Perfect timing? What are you? Oh, I found you! W what's wrong, Kia? Are you getting hungry? Nope, not yet. I brought a visitor. He's super grumpy, but he said he really needs to talk. Grumpy? Oh, Detective Dudley. You're late. Apologies, Sergey. Investigating... Investigation meeting ran a bit long. If we're having our usual discussion, if you don't mind if we go ahead and begin. Sound good to me. Fill them in, too, if you don't mind. I don't exactly have time for jokes, Sergey. This isn't something rookies should know about, and... Actually... I think the information they've found will end up being pretty useful to you and your investigation. Come on, it won't take any time at all. Are you insane? Then again, I did leave the Hey You Investigations investigation to the special support section. Perhaps it should be fine then. N no! What in the world am I saying? Um, Chief, if we're that much of a bother, we can always just leave the room. That won't be necessary. They don't call Dudley the ace of the First Division for nothing, after all. I'm sure he realizes what he needs in a situation like this. Tch, you win this time, Sergey. Listen up. The information I'm about to disclose is strictly confidential. It does not leave this room. Otherwise, there will be consequences. Got it? Y yeah, that won't be a problem. Oh, is this a secret? I love secrets. Tell me, too. Kia, that's not a great idea. There should be some leftover candy in the kitchen. Why don't you go share some with the site? The first division is being pressured from the inside. Well, it's not quite as simple as that, Bannings. After the raid on Heyu, we received orders to devote all our resources to quell any disputes between the Mafia. So recently, we had to call it quits on our investigation into the mystery drug circulating throughout Crossbell. Really? The First Division was investigating the blue pills too? Indeed. It's been a few days since the, d the decision was made now. Frankly, I'm shocked that you were able to uncover as much as you did. How exactly did the First Division find out about the drugs in the first place? We were tipped off about them by a longtime informant of ours. Of course, we couldn't act on his word alone, so we did some digging. And from what we could gather, it just seemed like a silly legend. I mean, medicine that grants wishes and can be bestowed upon happiness, bestow happiness? Nevertheless, we couldn't ignore drug trafficking allegations, and we're in the middle of compiling a list of involved citizens before it was put on ice. What? Why are you all looking at me like that? Looks like we hit the jackpot. Show him, Lloyd. Yes, sir. What? Take a look at this, detective. Im impossible! Are these what I think they are? We found them on a certain source during our investigation today. We were allowed to keep them on the condition that we protect their identity. Now you want our help, Dudley? You want to stop treating us like we're nobodies? Damn it all. So it is real. And you're saying that it's possible that Ravash is the distributor? Dudley, about the order to stop the drug investigation. Any idea who made that call? It had to have been someone high up. Our chief didn't agree with the decision, but he enforced it nonetheless. What a mess. Wait a moment. Does that mean someone high on the CPD's chain of command gave in to the Mafia's demands? That's unbelievable. Come on, how low can you go? The situation appears quite grave. Hey Dudley, it's 
clear that you came to me because you don't trust the department brass. That being said, what's your move? To be honest, I didn't intend to do anything about the drug investigation. If any of us were to take action, our bosses would do whatever they could to interfere. But as a member of the police, it'd be too frustrating to let this go. Detective Dudley. <laughs> Easy then. Leave the investigation to the special support section. Everyone listen up. From here on out, the SSS will be informally collaborating with the First Division. You four will take cover, take over their investigation into these drugs in their stead, since they currently have their hands tied. Yes, sir. Understood. And in return, we'll get every bit of intel the First Division has about Ravash. Sound fair? Are you mad? Regardless of the circumstances, we can't just go handing out top secret intelligence. Can't say I particularly care, Dudley. You're stuck in a stalemate, and you know it. But by all means, do whatever strikes your fancy. Tch, stubborn as ever. Fine, you can have whatever information your grubby hands want. <laughs> Glad we could come to an agreement. Ooh, so we're doing the First Division's work for him now? Is that it? I can feel the superiority washing over me already. <sighs> Yikes. Yeah, never mind. Let's not jinx ourselves, Randy. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. You gained my permission to handle the drug investigation. How do, how do you actually plan on proceeding? About that. We already hold the key in our hands. All we need to do is figure out what the drug is made of somehow. Not a bad start. Do you have any idea how to determine that? Who to go to? Based on what we know, we can assume that this is a new, never-before-seen drug. Using the forensic tools back at HQ is out of the question, as I have no experience with them and would be easily caught. Well, there goes that idea. You know, maybe we should just ask the medical college for assistance. I think we know just the guy, eh, Lloyd? You're talking about St. Ursula. Right. We know a doctor there who specializes in pharmaceutical research, actually. I've heard nothing but good things about his work, so there might be a good chance he could figure out the drug's composition. Hm, that's a stroke of good luck. And it might just be our best option. If you can, could you put together a report of the First Division's intel and send it to us by the end of the day? I want them to decide how to approach the investigation for themselves. Fine, I'll send it over as soon as I can. Well then, I should go. Thank you for your cooperation, Sergey. Likewise. Oh, and don't forget to give them well wishes, too. Ugh. <laughs> Listen, well, you four. If you do anything stupid, this entire situation might nosedive. Understand? Notwithstanding, your investigation into the drugs leave dealing with the Mafia to the First Division. Stay close to the ground, behave, and most importantly, don't get in our way. Yeah, got it. Jeez, that goof just can't be honest with his feelings. Anger is one way of hiding one's embarrassment, is it not? Maybe so. Also, he has a stronger sense of justice than I initially presumed. Yeah, I think we can trust him. I'd vouch for him. Hell, most of the First Division is driven by diligence, and their distaste for injustice. Same as Dudley. Sadly, most of them are sticklers for the rules. Making them pretty obstinate. So, you going ahead to St. Ursula? That's the plan. Well, if we have some time. I'm sure we'll try to knock out a few support requests. After all, we didn't have time to leave the city this morning. Sounds like it's about to get busy. I say we just tackle the requests little by little as the day goes by. On. <laughs> Glad to see you're all raring. Now, I know we're cooperating with the First Division, but don't get too excited. Just do things as you'd usually do. Show, show me that you're capable of cracking the mystery behind these drugs. Understood. Well, that was a scene and a half. <laughs> Alright. So we do got a lot of support requests. But we're, we're cracking down some drugs. <laughs> yeah, I love her. Let's actually save it. About to hit 30 minutes. I might end it here. 
I mean, maybe we'll try and get to St. Ursula at least. And then, and then we'll go about ending it. Um... Well, let's see if Professor Grenter has some time to meet us. We should probably ask the receptionist. No, no, luck. He probably played hooky. He's up in his uh, his lab. So we'll go see him. Got some illegal substances right now. You gotta, we gotta see what's in it. If you can help us out, Mr. Gwenter, be nice. side effects or toxicity.
devil worshiping cult, he says. Gnosis, or so the rumor goes. Yeah, that group. Ouroboros and the like. Teal knows something, man. She should just tell us. Stop sitting there and hiding it. Back to Crossbell. What do you know, Tio? Just tell us. Speak your mind. First floor. Now that it's evening, we want to grab the next bus. No complaints here. Are you going to tell us before we get on this bus, Teal? I'm fine. No, you're not. Clearly. It's so pale. Oh, is she sick? I'm just feeling a bit unwell, that's all. Surely you can... Surely you can the big contradiction here. There's got to be some place to rest around. Uh, uh. Teal, this isn't good. I mean, we're right at a, at a hospital. Get her back inside. I'll go get a doctor. Quickly. Just her anemia acting up. Thank goodness. After a bit of rest, she should wake up and be as good as new. That's good news. What a relief. You said it. For a second there, I was getting pretty worried. Still, you have to forgive me for making her use my bed, everyone. Unfortunately, everyone, every room we have in the hospital is occupied. That's all right, Cecil. I'm sure your room will be more than enough to help Tio recover. Cecile, thank you. Don't mention it. I have to work the night shift tonight, so it's perfectly fine if she wants to rest here until tomorrow. Well, I'll be going. Thanks, Cecil. Appreciate it. If only we noticed sooner. Now that I think about it, she first started to look a little sick during our conversation with Professor Gwenter. I'm almost positive it was... Was it when he started telling us about the drug those de devil worshippers made? I'm fine, you know. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Teal, you're awake? I'm so glad. You had us worried, you know.
Oh, look, she's got her thingy off. I like it. Please, there is no need to be. As someone involved in the ongoing drug investigation, I'm sure you have to ask about everything I know, I mean. Listen, Tio. Do you really think we would push you to share some something you're clearly uncomfortable talking about? Huh? While the investigation is definitely important, these are two separate matters. You're more to us than just a colleague. Above all, you're an irreplaceable friend, Tio. Oh. I'm sure you got your reasons for hiding whatever you know. I mean, I put my past out in the open a little bit, but... Tio Todd, if you really don't want to tell us about it, then that's fine. We'll still be backing you up with everything we've got. Ellie, Randy... That's how we all feel, Tio. But if you ever want to tell us about the things you've kept hidden, and if doing so makes the burden easier, I hope that we can help shoulder it for you. If even just for a little bit. Lloyd. How can you say, say things like that with a straight face? Not just you, but Ellie and Randy, too. Lloyd must be rubbing off on the rest of the team. <laughs> Suppose he's, he might. Hmm, that might be the case. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. <laughs> I already told Lloyd a fragment of this story, but let me explain. I was snatched away from my parents when I was five years old. Held captive by a cult of religious fanatics. Oh. Did she make the drug for them? Or, or come up with, like, things to do about it, maybe? The objective of the cult was is still unknown, but one thing is clear. They were attempting to obtain something by rejecting the goddess and worshipping devils. I think that they saw me and the other captive children as offerings, nothing more, nothing less. Simply a mean to obtain whatever they want. All of those kids offerings? Yes, I call them offerings because sacrifices wouldn't exactly be right, but I suppose you could call some of the other kids' experiences something akin to that. You see, the cult was conducting multiple ceremonies at their lodges, using a large variety of methods and techniques. And as for the ceremony they conducted, I was taken to. At the lodge I was taken to, it was primarily human experimentation. Human experimentation? That where your knack for sense and stuff came from? Precisely. Sensors were attached to our entire bodies, and we were pumped full of drugs. They attempted to enhance our five senses, using any method Im imaginable. They even tried enhancing our sensit sensitivity to supernatural phenomena by applying psychological stress and hypnosis. For three long years, that was my life. Day in, day out. Damn. That can't be. That's effed up. Despite all that, I might have been the luckiest person at my lodge. None of the children could wit withstand the ceremonies, except for me. One by one, they began to disappear. And it was only when I was the last child left that I gained this power. My sensory re receptivity became strong enough to hear the final cries of the others on the opposite side of that massive rock wall. <sighs> Teal. Those monsters. Then something happened. Lloyd's brother, Guy, 
was able to break into the lodge. Ugh. The team accompanying Guy were able to neutralize the cult followers and dismantle the lodge's operation. The resistance was strong, but the moment the lodge fell, most of the cultists committed suicide. Wow. Her backstory is insane. While stepping over so many of their corpses, Guy finally reached what was known as the ceremonial chamber. And that was when he found the only child left alive in that nightmare. By the time Guy took me into his custody, I was debilitated beyond recognition. Because of that, I was hospitalized for several months in order to recover. What happened after that, I've already told Lloyd about. So that's what really happened. I can't even imagine how you'd feel you'd felt. It's almost ironic, despite being so grateful to Guy for saving me from that place. When I heard that he passed three years ago, I wasn't even that sad. It's as if, in exchange for this power, I had my emotions stripped away. At least, that's what I thought. Tia. I wanted to ask him something. I wanted to ask Guy, a strong and possibly optimistic person. How exactly should a broken person like me live? But in the end, I wasn't able to ask him, and I was recruited by the Epstein Foundation. After that, I joined the special support section and began to live with all of you. I... I still don't know the answer. How do I go about living? Just why? Why am I alive? Tio! Uh, uh. You don't have to worry about that. It's okay to not know the answers. <laughs> oh. It's emotional. We're all the same. But why do we live? How should we live? There aren't many people who know the answers to those questions, Tia. Me, Ellie, Randy, we're all lost, the same as you. I had definitely lost my way, that's for sure. Still, Teal Tot, <laughs> you're being way too serious about all this. What's the point in rushing to answer questions like those? B but if you still can't help but wonder what the answers are, keep searching for them. Just remember, there's no need to rush, and you don't have to do it alone. Let's find these answers together. Me, Randy, the Chief, Kia, even Zite, we're all here for you. We'll help you find the answers to these questions. <laughs> yes. I think Lloyd has definitely rubbed off on you two. Hearing you all say this stuff, it's too embarrassing. <laughs> Why would you... It's fate, ain't it? When we joined the SSS, we all fell prey to this guy's cheesiness. Randy's right. We're a team. We share what we feel, be it embarrassing or not. I don't get why I'm the one being blamed for that, but I definitely agree with Ellie's last point. We share everything. Embarrassment, or our past, pains, and of course, our happiness and daily jokes, too. That's what it means to be a team, right? Please stop. It's too embarrassing, and it's burning up in here. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. But for some reason, I don't think this is such a bad feeling. Aww. <laughs> That's so nice. After this heartfelt talk, the SSS took the bus back to Crossbell. When they returned to the annex and put an exhausted Teo in bed, Lloyd, Ellie, and Randy decided to have one more talk with Chief Sergei. <laughs> Look at her laying with her. 
That's cute. I like the cat on uh, her wall. Damn, that name again. Gnosis. Chief, it's about time you tell us. Please tell us what my brother was involved in six years ago and about the cult that kidnapped Teal. I take it you're aware of everything that happened, Chief? Same. I had a gut feeling that you knew what was up with Teal taught from the start. Of course. I know about the cult. At their height, Guy and I were the ones who tracked down and suppressed one of the cult's lodges. Y you did? Then, Chief, you were my brother's... Yeah, I was Guy's superior officer. Back then, I guess I stood out a bit more than I do now. One day, I got too unconventional. Rookies assigned to serve under me. One of them being your brother. Ah, uh, Guy was impulsive, a bit reckless too, but he was a damn great detective. Now the other rookie was in stark contrast with, contrast with Guy in all the right ways. Who exactly was this other rookie? No way. Was it that Dudley guy from the First Division? Nope. That guy went straight into the First Division. He's a natural. You've probably heard of the other rookie before, actually. His name is Arius McLean. What? He was a part of the police? He was. He traded his police badge in for the Bracers Gauntlet some years back. Hell, that's probably one of the reasons the police here in Crossbell have such animosity towards the Bracer killed. What a twist. My brother and Arius were both in the force together? Age-wise, Arius beats Guy in that category. Ah, oh, look at them. <laughs> Arius already tied the knot and had recently had a daughter. Trust me, he always been the serious man he is. On the other hand, Guy was a wild card. Always acting rash and optimistic. Fool. Always acting rash and optimistic fool. Given how different they were, that's probably why they started to get along in the first place. And a little less than two years after joining the force, these guys were heralded as the police's ace duo. J judging by Arce's skill, I can hardly doubt that. Right? I'll be honest, I was proud of those boys. After all, not many are blessed with the chance to raise such fine greenhorns like these two. Our squad was able to accomplish a lot while we were operating. Eventually, higher-ups decided to leave the joint investigation of an international case on our desk instead of the First Division's. Joint investigation? International case? You aren't saying that it was. Yeah, it involved the cult. DG. That's their official name. D, therefore G? What the hell does that mean? As in a mathematical equation using therefore, but then... What exactly do the D and G stand for? We never solved the entire riddle. But we did uncover what the meaning of the G is. It stands for Gnosis. Oh. The drug that unleashed demonic power Professor Gwenter told us about. This has got to be connected. It's already been six years since that whole mess. Those zealots left behind a lot of mysterious mysteries, but I know one thing's for sure. Out of my decades of service in the force, this was the most disgusting bunch I had ever had the displeasure of taking down. <clears throat> the bastards used those kids they kidnapped as sacrifices at their lodges. What? The abduction case Mr. Grinwood mentioned yesterday. <clears throat> the DG cult. They had more than 10 active lodges spread out all across Zamoria. And they performed various rituals in each of them. Summoning horrific devils, taking advantage of artifacts for their gain, experimenting on those poor children. And there, there was always one constant in their ritual. A mysterious drug 
called Gnosis. I mean, it's a hard story to digest. So how'd you end up nipping them in the bud? <laughs> ah, right. I mentioned it yesterday, but this issue was spreading into each country, so a joint investigation team was organized by the countries affected. Each country's army, police, forces, and the Bracer Guild collaborated. A large-scale operation to round up and suppress every lodge operated by the cult was mounted, all under the command of a famous Bracer. As for my small squad of three, we were in charge of taking down a lodge located in the outskirts of Altair, located in Western Calvert. <clears throat> Guy rescued Teal Plato, who was the eight-year-old at the time. Teal was completely and utterly debilitated, but still in better shape than others. We couldn't save any of the other children, but compared to some of the monstrous rituals happening in the other lodges, I like to think they were shown a little mercy. Why? Why are people like this allowed to exist? I, I feel I'm going to be sick. These guys are on a whole different level than Crossbell's day-to-day -day criminals. So you say. At any rate, after that operation six years ago, the cult was completely wiped off the map. All the cult zealots either committed suicide or suffered a mental breakdown and died. Some have speculated that they were a few survivors, but... It's also been said that the church and the, that society exterminated the rest of them. The nightmare known as the DG cult should have finally been over. However, these blue pills pose a threat. It's possible that these pills are the same gnosis used in the cult's ritual. Right now, that's just speculation on my part. But if this is the real deal, I'm afraid the nightmare of six years ago might have resurfaced in another form. A form that can even rival Crossbell's Mafia. That's the worst case scenario. But if this is the truth, we can't overlook this. I couldn't agree more. Lloyd. The criminal who murdered your brother three years ago is still at large. I know. No leads were found. And the case eventually went cold. Yeah. After Guy transferred to the First Division... He would only investigate cases by himself, so there were no witnesses. The culprit has been speculated to be one of the superpowers, intelligence agencies, Ravash, or maybe another crime syndicate. Hell, some have tossed around the idea of a Jaeger Corps or terrorist cell being responsible. However, there's always been another possible culprit in, the, in my mind. A remnant of the cult, right? Yeah. I'd say that possibility is even more likely now. In a sense, this is becoming a battle to avenge my fallen subordinate. Pardon my selfishness, but from now on, I'll be butting in too. Chief? On the contrary, we'd love your help. You trying to imply that you haven't had our back up until now? Who knows? It's about time you know. I found it the special support section based entirely on Guy's original idea. Seriously? My brother? But what about the SSS being created to oppose the guild's popularity? That was purely an excuse to appease the top brass. While he was still alive, Guy told me something I'll never forget. He said that what Crossbell needs is the strength to overcome barriers. <laughs> A place where youth can continue to move forward despite failures joining their strength into one. Don't you think that's what the police really needs? He asked. Guy, I swear, you had yourself quite the honest brother, Lloyd. Then it is, is it simply coincidence that Teal ended up joining? Oh, right. I imagine not. She probably wanted more than anything to be in a place where Guy still, 
Guy's will lives. Not that she's told me anything like that. I see. That makes sense. Setting aside Guy for now. Our focus needs to be on our investigation into stopping these drugs. And regarding Kia, it's possible that she was involved in that cult in some shape or form. <clears throat> ah. T pisses me off to say, but it's likely. After all, that talk about drugs being the cause of her amnesia. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm beginning to think that as well. So, Chief, could you leave the heavy lifting to us while you protect Kia here? We should be able to cooperate with the First Division, but we still need support. Oh? That's true. Yeah, it's going to be necessary for us to have someone pulling the strings back at the SSS. I'm sorry, Chief. I know you went out of your way to offer your help, but this is key to our success. <laughs> All right. All right. Fine. Listen. I won't be given direct instructions like I have been. You can have all the advice you want. I'll even take care of comms for you. But you're going to make your own decisions and solve this case with your own will. So are you up to the challenge? Yes, sir. Understood. Oh, boy. Starting tomorrow, it sounds like we're going to have our work cut out for us. It's going to be a day, Randy. That's for sure. Squirrels from zero. The next day, 8 a.m. Are you sure you're okay, Teal? You can always wait here with the Chief and Kia if you don't feel well. Your worries are warranted. If I needed rest, I would ask for it. Besides, I'm feeling much better than usual. Well, you do look a lot better. But I was still pretty surprised when Kia said she wanted to sleep next to you last night. My gut told me to do it. Hey, Teal, did you sleep good? Of course. I can only imagine that the reason I'm in such pristine condition is because I spent so much time with you, Kia. Hee <laughs> hee, yay! You're a lifesaver, kiddo. Indeed. It's as if she's our very own special pick-me-up. No, oh, that reminds me. I wanted I want you to promise me this one thing, Teal. But if something like yesterday happens again, please tell us. Don't bottle it up. That'll only make it that much harder on yourself. I don't mean to be harsh, but if you were to collapse in the middle of a fight, we'd all be in trouble. Roger, I'll keep that in mind. I'm a member of the special support section. And I intend to stand on equal footing with the rest of you. So if you would, please, share your burdens and pain with me, too. I will do everything in my power to ease them. Of course. Your wish is my command. Yeah, you can count on it. Thanks, Teal. Not sure what you mean, but I'll share, too. <laughs> well, I doubt you need this old man to participate. So you're planning to question some of the citizens sus suspected of drug use this morning, right? Yes. I want to confirm what we found in the First Division's report. And since we'll be busy anyway, we hope to take care of support requests as they come. Indeed. If we let this opportunity slip away, we might not have any time left. As of now, we want to look into that stockbroker on Residential Street and that errand boy from the Saber Vipers. And finally, Ark NCL's new cast member. It's not surprising the First Division was able to pick up on this. If you have time, you should go check in with Ian. Out of the two, he told us about. It looks like the stockbroker is the same one from the First Division's record. And as for the trading company manager, it doesn't look like anyone has any substantial information on him yet. Thanks for the advice. We'll make it a priority stop. Professor Grenter should be contacting us later with the drug composition result around noon. Lloyd Banning speaking. 
Lloyd, it's me, Bixen. Oh, hello, sir. This is good timing. How's Gantz? Yes, about that. He, um, seems to have disappeared. What? Can you fill us in on the details? Of course, you see, Gantz woke up late into the night, but he kept fading in and out of consciousness, so we coaxed him into sleeping again. Just to be safe, I stayed with him overnight, hoping to report back to you in the morning. But when I awoke in the morning, Gantz was nowhere to be found. I see. Have you called the hotel or the casino? Yes, but I was told that no one has seen him for quite some time. What do you think we should do, Lloyd? Sir, if you don't mind, I want you to stay at the hotel. It's possible that Gantz might come back. We are already going out to gather some information, so we'll make sure to keep an eye out for anything involving him. If something comes up, please don't hesitate to give us another call. All right, thank you. Yeah, apparently he snuck out of the hotel this morning. Either by his own accord or... In any case, we, we will need to check on the other's conditions as well. Man, I got a bad feeling about this. The situation might be escalating faster than we anticipated. Don't worry about things here. Just go and see what you can what you can find. <laughs> okay, so I am going to end it here, guys. Um, on the next part, we've got a lot of questioning to do of people. Um, yeah, we'll do that next time.